Norgren has a formula for creating part numbers. This applies across the new range but is especially relevant in air preparation products. Let's look at a part number. The first digit represents the type of unit, in this case, a filter. The second digit represents the product range, in this case, Exelon Plus. The third digit gives us the nominal bore size, which as we mentioned, relates to flow. This is measured in eighths of an inch. The fourth digit gives more detail on the function of the unit. In our example, G represents general purpose. The fifth digit represents the port size, which is also measured in eighths of an inch. Again, in our example, this is four. The sixth digit tells us the thread form. G represents ISO G thread. The digits from this point become specific to the unit selected. Details can be found on the option selector of the datasheet. It's best practice to follow the catalog part numbers and change a digit if required by the customer. Don't simply build part numbers from scratch. In our example, the seventh digit represents the option for a pressure drop indicator. The N stands for nothing, meaning no option fitted. Some units offer an option, others don't, and N is default. The eighth digit represents the type of drain selected, A for automatic and Q for quarter turn, more commonly known as manual or M. The ninth digit represents the type of bowl. In our example, it's D, indicating a metal bowl with a sight glass. Not all products offer all options. Check the data sheets for more information. The tenth and final digit gives us the filter size. Our example is three, which represents a filter size of 40 micron, our standard. Filter regulators generally use the same formula but require 13 digits to cover options relating to both the filter and the regulator. If you require a unit without the yoke, use NN in the fifth and sixth digits.